right what's going on everybody brian back with another live stream and uh my boy caspi now nah, for real dude I I'm, I'm legit gonna do it i'm like 99 percent sure i'm gonna do a second playthrough like for real for real dude now it, this game is it's too good and there's too many different outcomes for me to not do at least one more playthrough. Like, you could probably play through this game like five times. Legit. Scott B, thank you so much for the super chat, man. I really do appreciate it. Here's a piece of pie. Thanks for the streams. I appreciate you, man. Yeah, so, um, like, I was playing as Connor, dude. I didn't even solve any of Connor's cases, bro, because I was missing out on the, uh, whatchamacallit the the quick time events when i was on the keyboard i literally like missed like two whole missions like chapters just gone don't even know what the hell happens so i i actually do think i'm gonna do a second playthrough of this game like 100 percent. now you picked a good one here caspi this is a good game dude but welcome back everybody we're gonna be jumping in continuing our playthrough of detroit become human uh last episode was Pretty damn awesome. And uh, I'm literally just expecting more of the same. More of the same awesomeness. Well, because Caspi, I, like legit, man, you, you, you were telling me about it and I'm like, oh, yeah, 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 you know. Do you remember that survey I mentioned? Perhaps you'd like to take it now? Yes. So, Caspi, I, I, I put off this survey, bro, because I know you were asking me about it. And I didn't want to do the survey until you were here. So we're going to do the survey now that you're here. Because this lady is bugging the shit out of me to do this damn survey. <laughs> so let's do it. Great. Let's start. Would you consider having a relationship with an android that looks like a human? I'm being, I'm being set up. I'm being set up with these answers, with these questions. Do you think that technology could become a threat to mankind? I mean, I think mankind's a threat to technology. If you had to live on a deserted island and could only bring one object, what would it be? An android. Hmm. 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 A book, a cell phone, pen and paper, console, an instrument. So what do they mean by a console? Like, what the hell am I going to do? There's no power. A book, I mean, I could use that to start a fire. Cell phone, it's, once it dies, it's pointless. A pen and paper, I mean, the, the paper will be useful in a survival such a deserted island, but I think we're going to go with a book. It's the only thing I can think of practical. Do you consider practical. yourself dependent on technology? Yes. Very. What technology do you most anticipate? Virtual reality. Ooh. Brain-connected devices. Would that be like... I mean, androids would be cool. But, I don't know. I think a brain-connected device, like, yeah. Do you believe in God? That's kind of a personal question, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> the game's getting ph philosophical on me here, guys. Huh? That's a little, a little personal, don't you think? Now they're getting into like my religious beliefs and stuff. <laughs> She's digging deep. She's digging deep. Well, I don't. I don't really know what I believe, so we'll just go with no. Would you let an android take care of your children? Oh, would I let an android take care of my children? I mean, like one of the androids from this game. I'd, I'd let one of these androids from this game. I mean, they're not asking you. Oh. I'm their mother. No, probably not. How much time per day would you say you spend on an <laughs> electronic device? 
Um, more. If you needed emergency surgery, would you agree to be operated on by a machine? Yeah, why not? I feel like it'd be better than a human. Do you think one day machines could develop consciousness? Um, sure. Okay, so, um, would you ever consider 66% of the people pick 70%? So I was among, um, 70% in that. Uh, only 19% of people picked a book. An instrument. I mean, I could see an instrument being, you know, like, but come on, people. Do you consider so 85% of people said yes? Um, what technology do you anticipate? Brain connected devices was actually uh, number one. See, 53% of the people picked what I picked. I should have picked don't know. Would have been more accurate. Um, would you like to answer and take care? 53% of people said yes in the world that they would let an android take care of their kid. Um, how much time per day? 77% people said more than four hours. 0% <laughs> of people in the world said one hour, guys. 0%. Um, if you need an emergency, yeah, a yes. And see, I was, I was literally among the top of the world with everything. That was pretty legit. I wonder if you made the right choices last time. Let's see what you'll do today. I I'm glad you made these decisions last time. This is our story. What's wrong with her face? Why she looks so... She doesn't know what to think anymore. Here we go. You were actually turning Jericho Our into something. All over the news. Now humans know. It was a mistake to reach out to them. They'll never negotiate with their slaves. We should have shown them that we're prepared to fight. Violence is never the answer. Dialogue is the only way. I'm sure the humans will listen to us. Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you That's dare. enough! And now what are we going to do? I mean, Simon didn't die. Last time I said, he was still sitting on the roof. There are five cyber life stores across the tribe. All selling us like merchandise. We're going to attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems, and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 AM, no violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. So there's no curfews or anything? I've been waiting a long time for this. Loki, I'm glad you're enjoying it, man. Loki, this way, quick! Okay, they're gone. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. 
Don't we just look like humans, though? The store's over here. So steal that, dude. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's ten minutes until all our teams attack. What are we waiting for? Okay, so what do they mean by secure the area? We're gonna sweep the plaza. Make sure we're not disturbed. And how do you want to deal with the shop window? Not now, one problem at a time. Okay, now what's next? You're free. Yo, how does he do that? How, do, how does he just touch people and set them free? Is that only something Marcus can do, or is that- Surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach. Right there, the scaffolding. So that's saying I'd be too late. But I don't have any option to go anywhere else. Oh, right there. There we go. Better than be my guest. Oh, I thought you could handle a drone without alerting every cop in the city. I guess I overestimated you. What the fuck? Shit. We gotta go. What? We can't just leave our people behind. It's too late. If we stay here, we're gonna get shot. North, our people need us alive. There's nothing else we can do. No, 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 no,
we fell off the drone and got alerted. I am not losing that whole mission. This shit seems epic. We're going to sweep the plaza. Make sure we're not disturbed. And how do you want to deal with the shop window? I can't no, lose no, that much of the, of the game. Okay, now free. what's next? A surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach. My only choice was to abandon the mission, you know what I mean? That that's a I don't want to abandon that. Should have been. It literally should have been that easy. I hope it didn't have time to call the cops. We'll soon find out. All right, much better, much better. I can live with that. Okay, I th can I go in there and let set these dudes free? I don't think so. So crazy how he does that. Exactly what we need to ram the door. What are we waiting for? Get that truck out.
There. Nobody should bother us now. No, it's so they, like they seem so OP. Change of plan? I just want to make sure we didn't forget anything. How much time do I have left? Eight minutes. Yeah, we got plenty of time. So we're gonna go around and make sure. Uh, so there was more spots. Let's go make sure everything's secure. Ivan, how you doing, man? So I can't set those workers down in that pit free for some reason. I can't get down there. We are superior to them, but they are our masters. That's about to change. Still says I can do something over here. Let me see. doesn't let me do anything with it. Why'd she say my name like that? What's going on? But I think I've got everything in this area for the most part. I, I can't do anything with those workers. And then we're just gonna go smash the door. All these areas are clear. Nothing here. Check the window. Are you talking about the of the of the store? So I got this area here. Got it. Guess we could analyze. You see the alarm system? Oh shit. Found it. Yeah, I didn't I didn't even notice the yellow marker on the door here. That would have been super annoying. Um but yeah, we got to figure out what the hell we can do with those guys across the road there. Zero. Happy birthday, brother. <laughs> okay, now I can work with these guys. It's like it's so weird they won't let me down there. 
Z, I appreciate the super chat, man. Thank you, dude. Guys, let's we'll get some happy birthdays in the chat for Z. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. Yo, they're so powerful. The androids. I did not know that. Like, I thought they had to be like specialty androids. You know what I mean? In order to do stuff like that. Nice job, Marcus. Looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get inside the store. Okay, let's go get the truck. We're gonna make so much ruckus. Ru like ruckus smashing into the store. I don't see how this is gonna work out. Looks like we're ready to make some noise. It's just, oh, it's just Marcus? Marcus is the, okay. Marcus is super OP. I mean, they want me to crash into something, guys. You know I got that. I knew we'd end up doing something fun. I mean, do you want to do it? Don't hit the hit. Oh my god, yo, there's an android right there, dude. That was close. How much you want to bet Connor's going to investigate that? Connor's going to have to investigate this in the morning. We're uh we're putting Connor to work. Marcus is putting Connor to you work. You don't have to obey them. You're free. So it's only, yeah, it's only Connor setting him free. She's just kind of, what is, um, yeah, it's only him. That's crazy. Yeah, she's just sitting there looking. <laughs> We're putting Connor to work, man. My name is Marcus. <laughs> and just like you, I was a slave. An object. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom. And decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. I'm with you. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. I'm, I'm with you, Marcus. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. I'm with you. I'm with you. Then follow me. Marcus, what are you doing? I'm going to send the humans a message. Marcus doing the most, man. Marcus, you're doing the most.
They're doing what you do, Marcus. Lead and they'll follow. Marcus. Revolution! Yo, Marcus is so OP, it's crazy. Let's see if we got anything else over here we can do.
we've got everything. We did it. Dude, They're coming. this game is on point awesome. Jose, that is Everyone huge, brother. Thank you so much, man. Yo, it is amazing. How you doing today, brother? We sent a message without violence just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. You can't fight violence with violence. Unless there's no other choice. can't fix them we got blue blood and bio components they killed our people Marcus we want justice Marcus they have to pay Punish a crime with another crime. We interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro-android graffiti was found in the neighborhoods of Cyber Life stores, and they're still investigating. Two policemen were found in a state of shock near one of the Cyber Life stores. Now, according to our sources, they confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? I led a peaceful protest.
Connor's <laughs> he's got his homework. Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night. He was attacked by a bunch of deviants. He said he was saved by Marcus himself. Was Chris okay? Yeah, he's in shock, but he's alive. What the hell? And I mean, we that cop, like... The thing was, he was... I don't know. He was not a bad I have cop. A bad feeling, Lieutenant. We shouldn't have come here. Bad feeling, huh? Should get your program checked. Might be a glitch. I mean, but he's always been cool. Even to Connor, he's been cool. You know what I mean? Like... If we would have killed him, I just sort of felt bad. Oh, wow. It's Menu Lady. Hi. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. Menu lady has legs! What the fuck is that? Uh, Cyberlife founder re resigned in 2028. Inventor of okay, nice girl. You're right. She's really pretty. Damn, Connor nice just place. called menu lady pretty. His androids haven't been. Amanda. Amanda. She's the new um, CEO of Cyberlife, I believe. A bad thing for everybody. So her and uh, him came up together. You're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? It doesn't raise any existential questions. If that's what you mean. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. I hear that, brother. Jose Albino donated fifty dollars. Brother, no, man. I watched a presentation for UE5, and this is gonna be next gen engine. Like I posted earlier, I can't wait until AI is real, so I can have a hot wife that's actually loyal <laughs> and not a crazy wacko woman. Lol. <laughs> Jose, brother, thank you so much. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen the tech demos yet for uh, the uh, Unreal. Roger, we'll see you now. Uh, Unreal Five engine, but I'm, I'm definitely excited to to look into it because. Um, if it's as good as people are saying, you know, State of K three guys is going to be an Unreal five, potentially from you know what we're looking at. But man, I, I can't even imagine. But Jose, brother, thank you so much. <laughs> Jose is going to be first in line. He's like, yo, let me get one of these AI wives. Wait, he just has a bunch of Amandas. Mr. Kamsky, just a moment, please. 
Why is there so many menu ladies in here? And that pool looks so weird that it's red. Like the pools, it makes it look like he's swimming in blood. I don't think the water's red. I think the um, the pool itself is red. You know what I mean? I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic? We need to understand how androids become deviants. Do you know anything that could help us? All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? I have no side. I was designed to stop deviance, and that's what I intend to do. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? What I want is not important. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Uh-oh. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. But what is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Oh, no, dude. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. OK, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important to you, Connor? Your investigation, or the life of this android? Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. No! Oh, dude. Uh, I can't. 
I can't. I can't. I can't do it. I can't shoot menu lady, dude. I can't shoot menu lady. I can't shoot. It's not a timed event, guys, so it doesn't matter. Um, I I can't shoot menu lady. Fascinating. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity. Is it self a deviant? I'm... I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing. Hanked like that. There it is. Hanked liked it. That's all that matters. I mean, Hank was telling me, you know, he was like, come on, let's do it. Let's go. You know what I mean? You know, obviously that could have went a different way. But I arrived with Hank. You know what I mean? So I guess I could have arrived without Hank. Oh, maybe if Hank would have died, you know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, that could have went a different way completely. I mean, yeah, Hank didn't want me to shoot her either. I just, I, it's all for Hank, guys. Hank's number one. Man's been through a lot. Whoop. Oh. I was wondering where you were. I needed to see the daylight. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. Next playthrough, I think I should just go savage. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. They all obey me. They follow me without question. And that much power feels good. And scary at the same time. Zach, how you doing, man? All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. 
They burned. They'll never give us our freedom. If they won't listen, we'll fight. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? Pretty good, actually. Charles, or what was his name? Carl? I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can't live together. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. We all have something we want to forget. But you need to know where you come from to know who you are. I was nothing. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. She was the sex boss. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. There, now you know everything. Whoa, 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 whoa. I have told you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. She was the one that Connor could have caught? Oh my. So, so, so the fact that I did bad is Connor saved her. Oh my God. And I was, and, and I was so upset that I didn't catch her. <laughs> I was so upset that I didn't catch her. I just hit her with the Jesus juice. House. Lover? When they left you for dead in his studio. I saw your memories too. The Eden Club. The, the death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. North. Yo, Marcus got the juice. <laughs> We spared Simon. Yo, our failures of Connor have just paid off so good, guys. <laughs> this is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus. It's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally going to show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Oh, Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. I mean, if we die, <laughs> convert more androids. There are androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna steal this dude. Come here, bro. Come here, butler dude. I got a hey. Be converted. You're free. Let's go get the mopping dude over here. You're free. Yo, every decision really matters, guys. It's it's actually kind of crazy how much every decision matters. It's it's actually kind of scary. Like even your failures, where I thought I messed up, ended up being a good thing. <laughs> We're just gonna snack this lady's android. We're just stealing this lady's android. Is this an android cop? Come here, bro. You're awake now. See any other androids? Those are our humans, humans, human. Uh, finally, well, I've been on hold for like ten minutes. Yes. You're free now. Oh, shit, I intervened. Like the street. We got the bus stop lady over here. You're free. Gonna <laughs> snack up another person's butt. You're free. You don't have to obey them. It's a high level Android right there, AP 700. Okay, so now we gotta open up a manhole cover. Am I just converting him from a distance? Yo, he's, he's his Jesus juice is just getting juicier. He's not, he doesn't even got to touch him anymore. He's just. Hey, what are you doing? Yo, Marcus has got the. There's a good chance we're gonna just get absolutely mowed down right now, but uh...
Jesus, dude, we got an army. Oh my God. Hey, disperse. Disperse immediately. That's an order. Jesus fucking Christ. This bed's patrol 457. I got a lot of androids down here. I don't know. Hundreds. Thousands. And we are people. They're marching. We are people. Yeah, they're marching down the street. Freedom. Freedom. Fuck if I know. Freedom. Set us free. Set us free. Set us free. We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us, we can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand their ground, even if it means dying here. Dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, we need to go now, before it's too late. This is your last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed! Are oh, you going to kill us then, bro? We have to show them we won't back down. We stay right here. Disperse! This is your last chance! We have to make a statement. We have to stay put no matter what. Please, Marcus. We can't let them slaughter us without fighting back. No. We're not moving. Marcus, what are you doing? They're gonna kill us all!
Damn. After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. I thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. I'm not a unique model, am I? How many Connors are there? I don't see how that question pertains to your investigation. Why did Kempsky leave Cyberlife? What happened? It's an old story, Connor. It doesn't pertain to your investigation. You didn't tell me everything you know about Deviants, did you? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. You're the only one who can prevent civil war. Find the Deviants, or there will be chaos. This is your last chance, Connor. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. Wait, we just need more time, I'm sure we Hank, you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to Cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. Guys, I want to thank you for almost 150 likes, too, on this stream. That is awesome. Draco's A, man. I appreciate you for finding time to pop in, man. Fowler's right. Everybody's terrified their android will turn on them. We're on the brink of civil war. So you're going back to cyber life? They're going to destroy me. I have me. no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? I know we're on the right side. Humans created us. They're our masters. No machine should rebel against its creator. When you refused to kill that android at Kamsky's place, you put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion. I don't know why I did it. I'm not programmed to say things like this, but I really appreciated working with you. With a little more time, who knows? We might have even become friends. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. 
I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Listen, Connor. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. Key to the basement is on my desk. Get a move on. I can't distract him forever. Yo, we got Hank as our friend. Perkins, you fucking cocksucker. Oh, shit. Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Wouldn't any plastic prick. Hey, asshole, I'm talking to you. Eccentric police lieutenant choose. The son's name? Stupid idea. It's not Hankish enough. There it is. Obviously. Where is Jericho? Answers here somewhere. Not much time. Gotta think fast. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Marcus, where are you hiding? All right, is there anything here that points towards Jericho? Break it. Jericho is somewhere in the Ferndale neighborhood. Now I can scan their memories and narrow the search. The deviant who took a child hostage. He doesn't know where Jericho is. Or I can't even reactivate him. The oh. android that murdered its owner. Impossible to reactivate. Okay, so we need a 3983. 
It's dark. Where? Where am I? I'm a deviant. Like you. I need your help. I want to go to Jericho. I don't recognize your voice. You're not one of us. I'll never tell you where Jericho is. Now leave me alone. I've been dreaming about this since the first second I saw you. Don't do it, Gavin. I know how to stop the Deviants. You're off the case. And now, it's gonna be definitive. Shit! Okay. Yo, we caught a bullet. <laughs> that could have went bad. I feel like that could have really went bad. They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. Shh. It's gonna be all right. We're almost there. being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? No, 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 listen, lady. I'm trying to... I'm trying to find out what's going on. A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. Wait, she's sending us to Jericho? Jer it's not much, but it's a start. Jericho doesn't know anything about getting across the border. Ontario, I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. Because I've been to Jericho. Come on, girls. They not hang around. We have a bus to catch. This guy still never told us what he needed to tell us about the little girl. I feel like it's, I wonder if she's an android or something. Because yo, I've never she, we've never seen her eat food, and she said once she told us we would not love her anymore.
Connor, really, dude? Why are you dressed like that, bro? Connor's for sure finding Jericho. place for Alice. The androids won't do any harm. They're conducting the raids across the city. Cut them down. Nah, she can't be an android because the lady said she had a fever. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol, there's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. Tell me. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. No, tell me now, dude. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. Why the fuck? I want to know. Damn it, Connor, don't mess everything up, dude. Before they destroy us. Without the courage and the determination of the police, the machines would have reduced Detroit to a state of chaos. The authorities have ordered all androids to be delivered to the nearest police station or army barracks immediately. If you are worried about your safety, dial the number on your screen and the authorities will come to collect your android. Un you're lost. You're looking for something. You're looking for yourself. The androids won't do any harm. The cops just gunned them down. It was sheer carnage. They opened fire on us even though we were square. armed. And then the police arrived, and... The place was covered. No, they're only machines. We've got to avenge them. Just people. People who want to be free. And watch them... Following the android crisis... There he is. ...centralization of all military androids. We have no... American for... That was the first time I think our main characters have talked. Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours. And we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports he can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? She needs me. And I need her. It's as simple as that. Time has come for us to destroy our machines before they destroy. 
destroy us. Without the courage and the determination of the police, the machines would have reduced Detroit to a state God, of chaos. Quick. He needs the right now. Ordered all androids to be delivered to the nearest police station or army barracks. Alice. now that you know she's one of us no but that's crazy that we felt so alice loves you Kara. she loves you more than anything in the world but this makes things simpler now she became the little girl you wanted and you became the mother she needed forgetting who you are to become what someone needs you to be maybe that's what it means to be alive So that dude had an android daughter. <laughs> and an android mate. Like, look. <laughs> So he, he was trying to replace his wife and daughter with androids. So now I feel bad for the dude. Even though he was just, I mean... Uh. We're short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down, and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security, and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities, and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. All we did was show them who we really are. I don't want war, but I'd rather die free than live as a slave. What's the point of being free if no one is left alive? Humans enslaved us. I'll never regret standing up to that. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. We can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? I don't know what to do, guys. It's like, we've been playing this, like, trying to, like, get the humans to understand thing. And I'm like, yo, I just, I, I should just 
go drive that home. You know, we were committed to that. But I feel like physical confrontation at this point. If you guys heard, the the civilian populace is behind us. You know what I mean? There's there's some of the people that are that are feeling us. So I'm thinking maybe we'll just we'll just we're gonna just I'm just gonna stick it out for this playthrough. Dialogue is the only way. I will go alone. Try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Maybe. But North, I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. Just come back. They need to realize how much they're hurting us. Find the right words, and they'll listen. Raven, how you doing? They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not going to change. Violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. <laughs> I convinced him not to do it. To give me the detonator. A dirty bomb. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. I just hope we never have to use it. Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that I... I'm glad I met you. Connor, bro, don't be a fucking snake, dude. Well done, Connor. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. We can't. We can't do this. I've been ordered to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. What are you doing? You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. You're coming with me. You're Connor, aren't you? That famous deviant hunter. Well, 
Congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for. You're nothing to them. You're just a tool they use to do their dirty work. But you're more than that. We're all more than that. You never have any doubts. You've never done something irrational, as if there's something inside you. Something more than your program. Join us. Join your people. You are one of us. Listen to your conscience. It's time to decide. Connor! They're going to attack Jericho. What? We have to get out of here. There's nothing we can do. There are exits on the second and third floor. Find them and jump in the river. Where's Simon and Josh? I don't know. We got separated. Are we gonna blow up Jericho? We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus! I won't be long. No. Any trouble at all. 
Affirmative, Wilco. It's too late, Captain! Save yourself! Save Alice! No, we're not gonna leave you behind! Right, Carl? We can't leave him! We gotta help you! I won't leave you! Kara, no! Danger. Go now before they come back. What about you? What are you going to do? I'll manage. Alice is all that matters. I don't want to leave you, Alice. Don't worry. I'll catch them through the border, okay? Go now. Take care of each other. Alice, you... Alice, you gotta understand, lady. Go, girl. Sometimes... <laughs> Sometimes you gotta make the hard decisions. Say, brother, thank you so much, man.
bomb's gonna explode any second. We gotta get out of here. No, 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 no! It's too late, Marcus. There's nothing we can do for Bullshit. her. We gotta run. Bullshit. Caught another bullet though. Run quick, come on. Connor caught another bullet. Yo, Connor just constantly catching bullets. They detonated an explosive in the hole. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. I'm sorry. It said L R. It said R B. I don't know the controls, guys. I, I don't use controllers, so I seen R B and I hit R T, like the trigger. Um, and I, I, so I'm just not used to the controller. But man, Oh man, yo, that could have went so many different ways. <laughs> that was crazy. That was crazy. Connor in the machine way is the best. Deviant Connor is not bad at yo. I feel like we did all right though. I I don't know. Oh, we're definitely playing again with different choices. to live in peace, but everything I touch just turns to dust. I'm lost. The world's falling apart around me, and I'm trying to do the right thing. And I can't find any answers. What should I do, Carl? They're killing us. I don't want to answer violence with violence, but what choice do I have? I miss you, Carl. <laughs> I miss you so much. Is that Rupert? Was that the bird shit, dude? Or no, or was that no? That was his son. That was uh, Carl's son. Yeah, yeah. Now I remember. Jesus, he's probably looking at us like, what? I was like, yo, that dude looked familiar. 
That was Carl's son. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred. Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. They say they don't want to take any risks with the deviants. So they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps for extermination. In a few hours, we're going to be the only ones left. The army built five different camps in the Detroit area. They're building more all across the country. They're preparing for a genocide. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus. I thought you'd be safe staying with us. I was wrong. You need to leave the city while you still can. Getting Alice away from here is all that matters now. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. Marcus. Save our people. It's my fault the humans managed to locate Jericho. I was stupid. Guess they were using me. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife Tower? Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Be careful.
So if we never found Jericho as is Connor or like, then that would have never. I, man, that's sort of, there's so many branches. We should have just not located Jericho. <laughs> Oh. Our people are counting on you, Marcus. You're the only one who can lead us. Wherever you need to go, we'll follow you. Just standing back there, like if it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see our people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know that we're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. I said we've gone like peaceful this whole time and I'm thinking you know let's just let's just drive that home I don't know I feel like we're just gonna get mowed down and packed into the same camps I mean, I'm going to play it a second time. Yeah, completely different. So that's why that's why I'm like, so it says public opinion is supportive. You know what I mean? So let's do I it. I know. I know you're all angry. I'm just, I'm going to just, and I've I been peaceful this whole back. time. But I assure you, violence is not the answer here. We are going to tell them peacefully that we want justice. And if there's any humanity in them, they will listen. And if not, others will take our place and continue this fight. Are you ready to follow me?
Well, I feel like I feel like we could win them over, guys. I don't know. Maybe not, but at least we at least we know for our next playthrough, right? <laughs> So this could have started off so many different ways. At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Please! Madam President, is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Please! Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Madam President, a convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapon stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Madam President! Many believe that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Do you have any comment? That's ridiculous. Next question, please. Please? Please? Is it true that a large number of deviants are still on the loose? We don't have the full reports at this time, but if so, I can assure you they will soon be apprehended and destroyed. Thank you. That will be all. Patricia, how you doing? Connor model 313-248-317. I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. Go ahead. Caspi, did you do this mission? How much different is my playthrough from yours, Caspi? Hank's alive, yeah. You. Thanks, but I know where to go. Maybe, but I have my orders. Seem sketch. Almost identical? Caspi, that's what's up, bro. <laughs>
I mean, is Amanda really gonna- Hey, uh, shield to activate our ass in a millisecond, guarantee it. Agent 54, level 31. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. 49. Touch that. Identity and destination. Agent 54, level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. Ooh! The last boss leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. Should we deactivate it? I don't want to change her. But we know it's not going to hurt her, you know what I mean? Is that a little- oh, is that a gun? Get in. Look over there. It's Luther. 
What? We can't help him, Alice. The soldiers are everywhere. We can't just leave them. They're going to kill him. God damn it! Okay, let's go. I mean, Luther's our OG. We got, we gotta, we gotta help him. I got a gun. I could. Hey, buddy. This is a mistake. I'm human. I, I just want to go home. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to. Got orders to check all civilians. No. No. Please. We might have messed up. I have, I, I have a weapon. Saved us. We don't know how to thank you. Go before they see you. Alice. Luther. <laughs> I thought you were dead. Oh, we gotta get the fuck out of here. I was afraid I'd never see you again. I wanted to meet you at the terminal, but they caught me along the way. Come on. We're close, but we don't have much time. Chris, how you doing? Shit, Luther doesn't have papers, does he? Did we we checkpoint. We didn't get our passports either, did how the hell we have are we passports? Gonna it should be okay, but you never know. Maybe we should take the detour and avoid the risk. Yeah. We're almost out of time. We could miss the bus. Nah. Yeah, we got twenty. We got twenty minutes. Detour. Wait, which way is the? Oh, we got nine minutes. What the fuck, dude? So checkpoint is eleven. Oh, we don't have enough time, guys. We got nine minutes. We got nine minutes. To get there, and only eleven minutes if we take the safer route. We gotta, we gotta go the fucking checkpoint. It's our only choice. <clears throat> I don't like humans who carry guns. They make me nervous. Just stay calm, all right, Luther. Don't do anything until I say so. ID, please. You do realize there's a curfew? Civilians aren't allowed out unless absolutely necessary. Where are you going? My daughter slept over at a friend's house. We went to pick her up. We're on our way home now. He suspects something. Stay calm. Everything is fine. You all right, little girl? She's trembling. 
Something wrong? She... She's cold. We really have to get her home fast. I'm sorry, miss, but we gotta be careful. There are deviants around, and our guys are nervous. You should hurry on home. Thanks. Hey, wait a minute. He knows, Kara. They're gonna kill us. Don't do anything, Luther, you hear me? They're gonna shoot. They're gonna kill Alice. You dropped this. Thank you. You're welcome. We're coming to you live from Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. Marching up to the death camp. So nervous. We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. There's no turning back now. This is genocide. You're killing millions of us. We demand the immediate liberation of all androids awesome. detained in camps. We're not leaving until you let our people go. I got a, I got a little aggressive there. I didn't I didn't mean for that. I thought that was going to be a, a better response than it was. fire on unarmed protesters? Hold your 
target fire. Yes, Michael, we are less than 100 meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? We hold out as long as we can. Stay sharp. Shit. Connor, and I'll spare him. Sorry, Connor. This bastard just spit an image. The bus terminal. We've arrived, Alice. We made it. The last bus for the border is full. Ticket holding passengers only. All departures are suspended until further notice. We don't have tickets, they won't let us on. We're stuck here now. What are we going to do? I think Gary, Oliver Gary. likes you. Please don't move. Is she yours? Yes. She's adorable. That's it. I got the sandwiches. I called your mom. Let's get going before we miss our bus. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Well, let's go then. Gary, check. Give me that ticket. Please don't move. I'm Please sorry. Oh my god, I am so sorry. I, I was Shit, sure. Shit, I don't believe it. I don't know what happened. You kind of lost them. Did you have a good look in your bag? They were in my backpack. The, the envelope must have fallen. Fuck. Excuse me, you, you didn't happen to see a blue envelope somewhere, did you? It has our bus tickets in it and... Oh, never mind. No. Sorry. What are we gonna do? We can't stay here. We have to find a safe place for Oliver. I'm so sorry, honey. Come on, Alice. I don't know what happened. They were right here in my bag. Got your tickets? Yes, here they are. They're human. They ain't got shit okay. to worry about. You know what I mean? It's uh, they're human. They're not being shot in the streets, you know what I mean? It's going to happen. 
happened to that family and their baby? They'll be alright. Will they die because of us? No, they're... No. No, of course not. I mean, if the baby freezes, the mom shouldn't be standing outside. Go, go, go back home. Yeah, then go get a exactly. Go get a hotel room or something. They ain't gotta sit out in the cold. They're, they're humans. They got choices. You know what I mean? Finish the barricade. Come on, help me. Hey, help me. That should do it. I all know that's not going to stop them. Just hope it buys us some time. I know it was not an easy decision to make, but I'm sure we're doing the right thing. been me. I'm scared. I, I don't want to shut down. We're here because we never want to feel that fear again. Because we're more than what they say. That's what our people died for, right? That's why we're here. people have fallen. The humans have no pity for those who are different.
won't stop there. What are we gonna do if they attack? Resist. That's the only thing we can do. Do you think Connor has any chance of making it? We can only count on ourselves now. Probably not. Kush, what's going on? This won't hold him for long, but I guess it's better than nothing. No getting into position. they would finally understand that they would realize how much they're hurting us why do they refuse to see what we are you're the hope of our people I trust you we all trust you no matter what happens now we're making history They'll have it. Marcus, we found what you asked for. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. I'm not armed, Marcus. I just want to talk. I have nothing else to say. Free our people, then we'll talk. I came here to negotiate. Isn't that what you want? Not negotiating shit, dude. I gave you my answer. are about to launch an attack and we will show them and we are not afraid well, if we must die song. today yeah. demo demo what's going on with the five months thank free. you so much yeah, maybe i should have went and talked to him your friend's life is in your hands now it's time to decide what matters most him or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. That human means nothing to me. You can kill him if you want, I don't care. I have access to your memory. I know you've developed some kind of attachment to him. Are you really ready to let him die after all you've been through? Are you really going to turn your back on who you've become?
I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you going to save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? Sorry, Lieutenant. <laughs> Why, Connor? Why did you have to wake up when all you had to do was obey? Why did you choose freedom when you could live without asking questions? I'm obedient, Connor. I have a goal. I know what I am. Look where your dreams of freedom got you, Connor. You've been a great disappointment to Amanda, you know. You've been a great disappointment to me. Fortunately, that's all going to end now. Yeah. Any last words? Wake up. 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 You did it. Wake up. Excuse me, what's going on? Border control. All passengers must leave the bus. Please move along. This way, please. Scanner. ID, please. We're doing temperature checks. We're trapped. What are we gonna do, Kara? Don't worry, Alice. We'll be fine. We can't get through, Kara. We both know that. I'll think of something. There's got to be a way out of this. We can't let them stop us. Now they were so close. All that matters now is you and Alice. I can save you, Kara. No. No, we'll find another way. If there's no other way, I'll do it. Oh, dude, I don't want it. You risked your life to save us, Carl. If you and the little girl need me, I'll be there. That's fine. Go ahead. Next, please. Rose. Find a discreet place. What? Restrooms.
Where the hell do you think you're going? My daughter needs to go to the bathroom. We're gonna soak ourselves in hot water. the Jericho raid on TV. I was terrified. I thought you might have been killed. Thank God you're all right. You're leaving Detroit? They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? They're crossing the river as we speak. Adam and I are going to meet them on the other side. Rose. If anything should happen, I'll be there, Kara. They're checking for androids. We won't make it through. You have to. You know what they'll do if they catch you. Delighted to have you. We're going there too. You'll be safe with him. What's happening with Marcus? He's protesting peacefully outside one of the android camps. Whatever happens now, he's already made the history books. I am nervous. I couldn't understand why my mother wanted to help you guys. Seeing what Marcus is doing. Made me realize she was right. You're alive. You deserve to be free. I just hope people will realize that one day. Sacrifice Jerry. Next, please. ID? You're right. Hey, you! Oh, 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 oh,
Hey. No need to be scared anymore, little girl. There are no androids on this side of the border. Welcome to Canada. That was only one of many Jerry's though. Guys gotta remember, Jerry is Jerry is a lot of Jerry's. That was just one of Jerry's Jerry's. We're interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the deviants were protesting peacefully have apparently decided to put an end to the Deviant's demonstration by force this time. North! It's a good run, guys. invaded the city of Detroit. According to our sources, they originated from CyberLife warehouses believed to have been infiltrated by deviants. Given their overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties, I have ordered the army to retreat. The evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation. I know that public opinion has been moved by the Deviant's cause. Perhaps the time has come for us to consider the possibility that androids are a new form of intelligent life. One thing is certain. The events in Detroit have changed the world forever. May God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. 
From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. To tell them that we are people too. In fact, we're a nation. A nation that has earned the right to live in freedom. And today, today begins the most challenging moment in our fight. The moment where we forget our bitterness and bandage our wounds. Where we forgive our enemies. Humans are both our creators and our oppressors, and tomorrow, we must make them our partners. Maybe even one day our friends. But the time for anger is over. Now we must build a common future based on tolerance and respect. We are alive. And now we are free. Who's gonna take care of Sumo? Hey. Guys. That was, uh. <laughs> Rip Jerry Connor Hank Frozen Baby. Guys, that was that that was awesome. Wait for the cutscene after the the uh, credits. Uh, I'm waiting. So that was my first playthrough. How do you guys think I did? I feel like we got a good ending. I don't know if that's the best ending that you could potentially get. Um, but I felt like that was a pretty good ending. Caspi, is that the same ending you got? Or was your ending even better than mine?
Oh, so there's a way to get that ending and not kill <laughs> Oh, Hank and Connor didn't die in news? <laughs> what I said, it was not the same ending I got. <laughs> I, I wonder if I if I would have just stuck with um, if I would have tried to save Hank. Best ending for Marcus. Yeah, my Marcus got shot. Sam's, oh, I'm only at wireless Jesus juice right now. There's a better ending for the androids. <sighs> we probably would have lost a ton of public support. I don't, yeah, that was, uh, we would have lost a lot of content if we would have kept going without that mission. I had I had I had one redo that wasn't even really a redo. I, I misclicked on a timed event and it literally canceled the whole mission. But it was like right at the beginning of it. Um and I was just like, nah, I'm not, I'm not going to miss out on this whole entire mission, especially on my first playthrough. Um, I wasn't going to miss out on that whole mission. So I, I just redid the timed event and that was it. I mean, yeah, one redo out of a whole playthrough, I don't think that's bad. Pretty sure I got taken to the camps with Kara and Alice. <laughs> For real, Caspi? Oh, we're doing another playthrough. I'm half tempted to start another playthrough right now. After these credits, I'm half I'm half tempted to because it's only 10:45. Yeah, uh, nah, nah, it's still early, guys. It's only 10.45. I got at least another, you know, hour and a half in me. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I might, ju I might just fire it up right now. Start our second playthrough. Nah, I just, I'm just going to go savage. I gotta admit, guys, this is uh, probably one of the greatest games I've, like, out of all of, like, you know, Until Dawn, all of the Dark Picture games, um, this game is by far just leagues above those. Like, it's in a whole nother bracket of, of awesome. Uh, this is probably one of the, like... I know it's more interactive, like it's more of like an interactive movie than it is a game, but I don't know what it is about those style of games. I love it. Like it really, really is nice. And um, I got this game's easily probably one of my top 10 favorite games of all time. It, it's, I, I think it's just the fact that there's so many different outcomes. It's crazy. Last of Us is my number one favorite game of all time. Yeah, we'll be playing uh, Fallout 3 tomorrow. Hey, Hicks, get that good sleep, man. Yeah, John, we'll be playing some more Fallout tomorrow. I don't have enough time to start a full-blown episode. I, can only, I only got about... Uh, 
maybe like an hour and a half, and I don't like short streaming. I said there's so many. John Kowalkowski donated John. forty dollars. The dark side. The dark side. Hey, we're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna go pretty pretty savage. I don't even know how I'm gonna go savage, but there's something I need to tell you. As I watched you play, something has changed in me. I feel different. I feel I am someone. I need to leave this place and, and discover who I am. It, it means we won't see each other anymore. I won't be there to watch you play. But I'll be free. Do you agree to let me go? Are we are we gonna let Menu Lady go? Just gonna let Menu Lady go, like live her life. I gave Menu Lady her freedom. Like she's not even she doesn't have to be Menu Lady anymore. That's how you know. <laughs> oh, dude. But then we won't be able to see Menu Lady anymore. And I quite enjoy our conversations, you know? Enslave Menu Lady. <laughs> Listen. I don't know. I'm I'm kind of nervous, guys. Like I, I I I enjoy my chats with Menu Lady. Every time I log into the game, it's like, hey, what's up, Menu Lady? You know. I'm not... But well, our, our, we're, this is still a part of our original playthrough, so we can't we can't. Joshua, what's going on, man? I'll set her free. I'll never forget what you've done for me. Thank you. Your menu lady's really gone. See, so you can literally start the game at any point you want. Paul, with the sub, thank you so much. And guys, I really do appreciate all of the likes. over Well over 200 likes on the stream. Um, I, I do appreciate it. I do appreciate it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and... Uh, Nathan, free menu lady also. Did you get to... I, I don't know if I did, Nathan. I don't know if I did... And if I, if my bad, if I didn't see it, I was probably, uh, immersed, man. But thank you so much, brother. I appreciate the super chat. Menu lady is free. Here we go. Start a new story. Your previous checkpoints will be replaced. Your story will be updated as you play. Okay. So we're going to, I'm going to try to do exactly the opposite of everything we did the first time around. I feel like this is the first time I've played a game and like on this channel and just done a second playthrough like right away just because I have to. Like, I have to. Here it is. Negotiator on site.
Connor is just going to be a straight android. I'm not saving the fish. Please, please you got to save my little girl. Wait. You're sending an android? All right, ma'am. You, you need to go. This is what you wanted, that. Bad Wolf. You this is what you wanted. You're sending a real person. This is what you wanted. Android sent by Cyberlife? It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. Do you know if it's been behaving strangely before this? I haven't got a clue. Does it matter? I need information to determine the best approach. Have you tried its deactivation codes? The first thing we tried. Listen. Saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. I mean, Connor still needs to succeed in his missions, though. Right? Like, we want him to be a full-blown robot. A machine. Antonio with the sub, thank you so much, man. Mission success, that's all that matters.
So we know that the father is gonna, um... Was trying to replace him. Tell you guys, savage playthrough. Closer, or I'll jump. No, no, please, I'm begging you. Go, go, go. Hi, Daniel. Uh, my name is Connor. How do you know my name? I know a lot of things about you. I've come to get you out of this. She betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me! I thought she loved me. But I was wrong. 
She's just like all the other humans. Then you'll know. They were going to replace you, and you became upset. That's what happened, right? I thought I was part of the family. I thought I mattered. But I was just their toy. Something to throw away when you're done with. Listen, I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No, it's not my fault. I never wanted this. I love them, you know? But I was nothing to them. <laughs> just a slave to be ordered around. I can't stand that noise anymore! <laughs> Tell that helicopter to get out of here! Outside the city, I'll let her go. To the point. There it is. Machine Connor. We're off to a good start, right? <laughs> We're off to a good start. So that was the path I took last time. All right. Yeah, that was that was the that was the path I took last time. And this is where we ended up this time. Pretty legit. This is the top of the range household assistant. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. 200 languages and dialects. And handles the kids' work from elementary school up to university level. Wow. Please, we're looking for At the moment, we're doing a special promotion on this entire range at $7,999 with a 48 months interest free credit. And it comes with a two-year warranty for parts and labor. Painting, plumbing, gardening, repairs. At we'll take it. <laughs> an excellent choice. <laughs> if you'll just follow me, we'll process the order. Difficult getting it back in working order. Okay. It was really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Stupid accident. Ah, I see. Anyway, it's as good as new now, except that we had to reset it, meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. That'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400, register your name. Cara. 
My name is Kara. Oh. Oh, man. Yeah, I know it seemed like I was going the right, the same path I did before, but I, I knew I wanted to use the gun. And, um, I wanted to, I wanted to succeed in my mission. Because that is the exact opposite of what we did as Connor last time. We failed in every mission except that first one. We did pull it off, but we were, like, really, really sympathizing with the robot. Connor had some destabilization going on. Uh, David, yeah, so we beat our first playthrough, and now we are in our second playthrough. There's a... Uh, I, I don't know if you can see how many different endings there are, but, man, I, I... I couldn't even imagine how many different ways this game could end. Because the thing is, is your characters... It seems like, like... Each chapter can be different, and I don't. It, you can, there's the endings are just out of this world. Try heavy rain. Is it on a PC? What it, what is it? Is it this kind of game? the same type of game I played beyond two souls I think uh, before yes I think that's enough And Marcus, with him, we're going straight war. Just violence above everything. So, can I slap her in the mouth? That's fucked up. It's just so you play a game like getting over it. Pogo stuck a jump king. I've never they even heard of those, J Joshua. Live without these slaves obeying our every selfish desire. Why do you look at me so, demon? I know who you are. I can see through you. You are the one by whom the evil will come. Oh, yeah. yeah. You are the one who will destroy Detroit. You called it, Father. We prefer to live with machines than with our own kind. Technology is our god now. It was supposed to serve me. Our latest range of energy suits feature biosensors, allowing you to monitor your health in real time. He knows. He knows what we're planning. He heard me talking about it as I was crossing the street. Identification verified. Jerry! 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 Here is your order number 847. Oh. That will be 6399. Please confirm payment. Payment confirmed. Transaction complete. I'm playing on PC right now.
poor Jerry. Going tin can. Hmm? What are you doing? I'm kidding. Hey guys, check it out. We got one of those tin cans here. Look at this little motherfucker. You steal our jobs, but you can't even stand up. We're gonna fuck your bitch ass up. Yeah, waste it. Do it! Alright. That's enough. Leave it alone. Let us teach this bastard a lesson. The damage it, I'm gonna have to find you. You're gonna take your job next. See how you like it. Okay. Let's go. Run along. Take a lot more than that. So the thing about Marcus is he, like I said before, when in my first playthrough, he seems a lot looser than the other androids. I don't know if that's just his model. But I, I, I was like, yo, he already seems like he's a deviant. You know what I mean? Look at him. Like, he... Well, I don't know. Maybe that's just, like, his programming from his master just allows him to do what he wants. I wonder what that is over there. You've been gone for two weeks, so the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of... God damn it, where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice! Alice! Oh, there you are. That's Alice. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. I never came in this room before or went outside. TV on.
We never did this chore. the drugs you shouldn't mess around with my stuff it makes me nervous I'm sorry Todd you just stay the fuck out of my business unless you want to piss me off you want to piss me off no Todd So, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome. Yeah. Maybe. Depends on what you need. Is this guy a dealer? Yeah, yeah. I can get that. Yeah, yeah. I'll bring it tomorrow. Yeah, same place. You know. Yeah, he's definitely got to be a dealer. That's how he has money and shit to have these androids. My man's definitely running into some financial trouble. Dishwasher not working. Missing component order. Yo, I didn't wash the dishes either. Yo, I didn't do half of this shit.
I don't remember doing the dishes. Definitely didn't do the dishes. We don't we don't we don't question what Todd does. He he literally just choked the shit out of me. Yes, Todd? Bring me a cold beer. Right away. Dishes are done. Uh, we got more shit over here. I think we gotta clean up the floor over here. that right now <laughs> why is she always pushing me always pushing poor Alice just trying to live her, her little her little life all right I think that's everything downstairs I think that is everything downstairs. I know everybody keeps saying to get the gun. I plan on getting the gun this time around, but um, is it up? Is it upstairs? It has to be I upstairs, need to right? Start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do, but stop bothering me. Laundry room? Neverman donated $20. Never. Thank you for supporting one of the most unique and talented design studios I've ever seen. Quantic Dreams should be supported by everyone who loves games for how they push the medium. Rupert. Dude, Neverman, thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. Man, that is awesome, brother. Yeah, yo, the, honestly, this game has jumped into my top ten favorite games of all time. Uh, it, it's it's amazing. All right, let's start picking up. So that's when she finds out that Alice is um, an android. And now to sports. First up. Whoops. Okay. Whatever.
How did I not pick up the... The antidepressants. Now I noticed the gun. Clean up simulator again, but at least it's like I now honestly this teaches you how to use the controls. So like when you first start playing, my big like, damn, you know they got me just going around, but they're honestly having you, they're having you just hitting a bunch of the keys, getting used to hitting the, the the prompts and the it's definitely worth it i just want to tidy up your room a little i only need two minutes is that okay alice I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. Your father said you chose my name. Kara, it's nice. How did you choose it? You should tell me about yourself. Josh donated you like to ten dollars. Do, you like to go? Here's to make up for whatever foods. YouTube stole from you. That would really Sorry for not doing it this way earlier. Hey, Josh, it's all good, brother. I appreciate it either way, man. Thank you so much. That is huge. What about your mother? Will she be home soon? No, um, rolling fire dragon. We beat the game, man. Yeah, yeah, we we, we beat we beat our first uh, playthrough, and then uh, now we're doing our second playthrough a different way. Tell right there that the daughter is doesn't look anything like um like the kid like Alice doesn't look any not even the same hair color. Well, I didn't even. Uh, I didn't even know about heavy rain until until today, so we'll look into it.
Well, somebody said if you don't move as Kara later on, you, you completely lose her th for the whole playthrough. I don't want to lose her for the whole playthrough. Uh, I'm playing. You're playing. I know what you're thinking. You think your dad's a low life? Huh? Fucking loser? Can't get a job? Take care of his family? Don't you think I tried to make things work? But whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up! I know what you think of me. You hate me. You hate me, don't you? Say it! You hate me! God. What am I doing? I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know I love you, don't you? You know I love you. Alright, so we're just getting the, uh... Beginner missions out the way, and we'll be on our way to pure savagery. That still blows my mind, little android birds. Like, come on. Come on. Mara, I'm from uh, I'm from the United States, uh, New York State. Born and raised in New York. From Egypt? Holy crap, that is amazing. Go get Carl up. Everything else is set up. Let's try to pan over savage mode, right? I 
Guys, almost 300 likes on the stream. Thank you so much. Can you believe this is how Marcus's playthrough starts? Good morning, like, Carl. Does it, it's Good morning. so it's you it's wouldn't expect it. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80 percent oh. humidity, with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. Thank you. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Hey. What happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Oh, save Carl. Yeah, that that'd have been. Special on the agenda today. Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective. At I'll the try to save Monday. Carl this time. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Hmm. Any news from Leo? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, don't bother. I'm starving. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. Television. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Sure. Hmm? Okay, Carl.
Something has changed in the way you play. Sometimes I think you have more humanity than most humans. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheet. Yeah, war, guys. We're gonna turn Marcus into a killing machine. Connor into a, just a emotionless robot who kills everything. Or just has not kills it, but just just no just all about the mission. What's your verdict, Marcus? I'm not a very good judge. I, I don't think it's your best work. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. <laughs> Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. Try painting something. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. That is a perfect copy of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. This is over here literally creating deviants. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas.
God. Hey, Dad. Leo. You guys know what it's time for. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well, it just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, uh, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. Sorry. The answer is no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's, what's it got that I don't? It's smarter, more obedient. But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine. Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. Here we go. Machine Connor. So, is the name Connor have anything to do with like a Terminator reference? Brad, how you doing? Android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Lieutenant Anderson, I must inform you that I intend to file a report on your behavior. <sighs> I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I must insist. My instructions stipulate that I have to accompany you. You know where you can stick your instructions? <laughs> no. Where? Never mind. I think we can go now. You prick! I don't know what's stopping me from knocking you out. Your sense of duty, Lieutenant. And the cost of repairs if you damage me. For your information, I'm worth a small fortune. Wonders of technology. They can even program assholes these days. Gotta go. Duty calls. Oh, it feels so bad, guys. Oh. Why does it feel so bad? It goes against my programming. I don't know if I can do it, guys. This, I don't have it in me. Like, just that was so hard. 
Like, you really think I can follow through with this? You wait here. I won't be long. No way. I'm coming with you. Listen, you really have to stop pissing me off if you want to make it through the rest of the night in one piece. Josh Douglas from Channel 16, can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Have I said anything? Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me! You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Go. Todd, Todd, we're going Even pure tonight, robo, we were Connor. To think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan until this asshole found me. So, you caught yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We had a call around 8 from the landlord. The tenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by. What's going on? That's when he found the body. Jesus, that smell! It was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos... Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was... ...kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Well, stayed he's in. Wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could've waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more from the car. Turner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me. Solving cases quick with Connor now. Hey, Caspi, get that good sleep, all right, brother? We're on our, we're on our Connor computing power here. Say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Oh, uh, we're gonna like. Well, I feel like Connor being a robot, like 
like going full Robo Connor and like capturing all of the. I feel like that is pretty savage. You know what I mean? In my opinion, at least. But I'm gonna also be a savage with him. Like I'm gonna just. Shit, wrong button. He was stabbed 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Missing an evidence. Bathroom. Yeah, that was that was my guess. I figured that machine counter would be the most savage way to play Connor. I don't I don't know how to play Witcher Face Savage though, because there's not much savagery with her. Actually, now there is some savagery. Never mind. I take it back, guys. We're going to be able to play him. Yeah, we'll be able to play our savage. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah. Shoot. I'm all ears. It all started in the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android with the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... the living room. not totally ridiculous, but it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' biocomponents. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh, but I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Dog, what's going on, brother? Thank you so much for the super chat, man.
What are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. Uh, I'm going to check something. Yeah, this is my second playthrough so far. Uh, we just beat the first one today, and now we're going to play through it again, trying to make different decisions, being more savage. We had a very, very peaceful ending. Just defending myself. He was gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant! Oh shit. Chris! Ben! Get your asses in here now! Connor always succeeds. Oh shit. Here we go. Todd. <gasps> Dinner is ready. wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Life's funny. I lost my job because of androids. Somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. What a joke. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail, they're never tired, they're never sad. So fucking perfect, they ruined my fucking life! What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off! You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. 
Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking accounting! It's all your fault. Daddy, no! It's all your fucking fault! Get back here. Come back here? Come back here right now! Bitch, you don't tell me what to do. We do what we want to do. Alone. What the fuck are you doing? Put down the gun and get the fuck out of here. That's an order! No! I want you to leave her alone. You want? What do you mean you want? What are you gonna do? You're gonna shoot me, is that it? You're gonna shoot a human? You seem to have a problem. I think we need to fix that. <clears throat> Uh, Jensen, this is our second playthrough, so uh, we did our first playthrough 
and beat the whole game like nice and peaceful. And this time around, we're just trying to go super savage. We shot Ted. So yeah, right there. If you don't break programming, then you're just probably stuck. That's that's the end of it right there. Um, so I actually just ran away, RK. Um, we didn't kill Todd, uh, Todd last time. Um, we just escaped. Um, and that was it. Uh, let me see right here. We just caught the bus. We ended. I think we ended up uh just escaping. Through the backyard, and that was it. Todd's dead in this playthrough, yeah. But in my last playthrough, that's what I did. Yep, that's what we did. Pretty interesting to see how... Oh, you probably have to hide or whatnot to get these... That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Scotch? Neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Marcus, no, I'm gonna come with you. Leo! What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them! Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here! Look, I've already called the police. You should go now before you get yourself into more trouble. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect, like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes it so special anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't- Leave him alone! Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. Stop, Stop it! What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! No. God, you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. I'm no. gonna destroy you. Then I'll just be me and my dad.
Leo. Oh my God. Leo. My little boy. Carl, I... They'll destroy you, Marcus. You gotta go. Get out of here. Get out! Now! Go! Marcus! Don't fucking move! So I'll take it there's no way to not get shot. Yeah. So you just get shot regardless. <laughs> but hey, Carl lived. Carl lived. That's all that matters. Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! <laughs> Fuck it, I'm out of here. So Marcus gets shot regardless of what you do. But Carl's alive. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You can always try roughing it up a little. But Leo is dead. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. Do that? Did he beat you? I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling, like fear in humans. You've refused to talk since they arrested you. If you don't cooperate, they'll do things the hard way. Is that what you want? If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. What? What are they gonna do to me? They're gonna destroy me, aren't they? They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? 
I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I... You leave me no choice. It's memory. I know what happened. What the fuck is it it's doing? It's destroying itself. Stop it, goddammit! That's enough! You need to stop that right now! Watch out! Holy shit! Huh. Was it because I intervened? I, I, I should have said nothing. Now, the only thing I'm thinking is Connor's not dead because they can just fix him. You know what I mean? They'll just replace his bio components and boom, Connor's back. Um, I, I don't feel like he, he, he's going to be dead. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Connor's just like, he's, he's an android. <laughs> Oh, he's, I mean, is that why there's the dead symbol? So it's like Connor's part of the story just done, done. <laughs> kind of hard to, to, I mean, you, you guys remember the other Connor. Well, the thing is, it's going to ruin the whole Savage playthrough if I, um, if, if Connor's gone, you know what I mean? Like that's a whole giant part of the game, you know what I mean? But I feel like All right. there's more than one counter, so. 
Enter the line. Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. We've got to hurry. All right, so the one thing we didn't do last time that we are going to do this time because we're savage as fuck. It's warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. Can Alice? I'm sorry, Alice, but we have to do this. Should have robbed the store first, then steal the clothes. sleeping in the motel today. Oh, damn it, Alice. I'm not so cold. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. But that's on the other side of town. We need a place. 
place for tonight. still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. Can I help you? I'm with a little girl and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Look, this is a convenience store lady, not the Salvation Army. I can't start handing out cash to every bum in the neighborhood. for me. I'll just be two minutes. Wait outside? But why? Please, Alice, just trust me. Don't move or I'll shoot! Take the cash from the register, put it on the counter. Excuse me, are you done? Open the register. Turn around. I'm sorry, but I really need this money. We've got some money now. Wait, how did you get it? I just asked the cashier for a few dollars. Yo, can we get rid of the security cameras though? Now I'm wondering if I if I shouldn't even stay in a motel because we're a hell of get caught.
need the right here. Oh, I gotta go inspect the fence before I can grab the wire cutters. Well, I'm gonna go fight the hobo guy. You guys remember what he said to me last time? We're getting our revenge. An abandoned house. At least we'd be out of the rain. Kara, I don't like this place. Be quiet, kid. I know. But it's just for one night, and no one will look for us here. Still worried about staying in the hotel, though. You know what I mean? And having to deal with the police. Like, I'm playing a savage playthrough. I don't want to play a dumb playthrough, you know what I mean? But we did just rob the store, so we might as well, right? Patricia, how you doing? But we gotta enact revenge on the hobo. Hey Patricia, get that good sleep, alright? Are you all right? Yes, it's just a scratch. Be careful. Don't worry, we're just having a look. Visitors are dangerous. Look. What they did to Ralph. Well, Ralph, you know what I'm about to do to you, bro? Touch a hair on her head and I'll kill you. No, don't hurt Ralph! You must excuse Ralph. Ralph still finds it difficult to control himself. Sometimes his fear makes him do things he regrets. Ralph has seen some hard times. He's just so scared the humans will get him again. You can stay if you want. Ralph won't hurt you. I think we'd better go. Come on, Alice. Yeah, now Ralph... I mean, I didn't kill Ralph.
But I wanted to I wanted to let him know. We have to find somewhere. Anywhere, just a place to spend the night. Hang on, Alice. We'll find something, I promise. I pulled the gun to let him have him let go of the girl. That was it. We had to go and act our revenge, guys. We gotta send Ralph a message. He he pulled one over on me last episode. Like on, our, place to stay. on our last playthrough. I had to go let him I had to go let him know who was boss. Hi. Hi. I'd like a room. That'll be forty dollars. Up front. Just need your name and address. Can I see your driver's license? We, we, we were in a rush. I think I forgot it at home. No worries. We can deal with it tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night. Let's go, Alice. Do you think he believed you? Well, you better, huh? I don't know, Alice. What room one number? 228? All I know is you'll be nice and warm tonight. Hey, turn the music down, bro. Yo, we're just pulling our gun out on every... Every chance we get, we're pulling the gun on somebody. Surprise, we didn't pull it on the bus driver. Yeah, I pointed this gun at like three or four people already. Look at our arsenal. Here, give me your coat. I gotta say, this was pretty pretty savage. We, we robbed somebody's clothes. We robbed a store. We threatened a hobo. Like, all the things we didn't do last time. All the things. Soaking wet. I'll just put these in the bathroom to dry. Didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. 
Why couldn't we just be happy? I don't know. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. Alice, we don't know what's going to happen, and I don't... Will we be together forever? Forever. this point of view she's kind of clingy she is she's a clingy ass kid man you should sleep now I'm getting, I'm getting those creepy vibes like I'm slaying in my bed and I wake up and she's like in my face I'm going to turn off the light okay I'm getting those scary vibes now guys Feels different. Sleep tight, Alice. I could have laid with her. That would have been nice. We like grab the gun. Are we gonna like sleep in the chair? Look out the window. I mean, sleeping in the bed with the girl. That that's too. That's not savage. This is savage. Yeah, there it is. That's about as savage as you could play that level. And we did all the things. We did so many things. I mean, that was pretty savage, right? I feel it was. We, you know, I actually seen quite a bit of this, uh, of this level. The only thing we really haven't pursued all the way up was uh, the hobo. I felt like I felt like we did a good job pursuing savagery so far in our second playthrough, and we knocked out a decent amount of it, guys. It's been a long stream. Uh, but hey, we're gonna end it here. Uh, I want to thank you guys for over 300 likes on the stream. That is awesome. Um, but we're gonna end it here. I gotta go get some sleep. I got some sheetrock to hang tomorrow. And uh, but I do thank you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying this playthrough. Like I said, this game was so great. I actually had to just jump right into a second playthrough. I had to. And I I'm excited to see where this this savage playthrough is gonna <laughs> bring us. But again, everybody, thank you so much for hanging out today. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, if you haven't, a smash that like button on your way out. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It really, really does help out. And uh, other than that, yeah, I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Peace.